Here's a random video, Shard Timers. Just a random video. And I want to talk about what do you have to give away? What do you have to give away? That's a loaded question. That could be anything. What comes to my mind is having a garage size, garage sale. Or not even having a garage sale. Actually, just putting up items for free. Or when you look at something in your garage, perhaps, or your home, who do you think of that could use that item? Like, oh, man, Tina, I should give this to her. If your heart or the person that comes to your mind, the first person that comes to your mind, God put that person on your heart for that item, just give it to him. Just take it to him or call him and say, hey, I got a box for you. Hey, I got this one thing. I'm not using it. I wanted to give it to you. I wanted to bless you. You know what I'm saying? So you never know what that can do. It can actually go a long way. I think giving, that's why the, the, word, the word of God, the Bible says, it is better to give than to receive. Now I understand that before I didn't, and I'm like, well, I, why I keep giving and I'm not receiving? Something wrong with that picture. Something was not adding up to me, okay? It just wasn't adding up. But when I started doing it, Given with a with an attitude, a spirit of gratitude, that's when things changed and turned around for me in my life. Okay, so now I understand the principle and the rule, of the spirit of giving. It is better to give than to receive. And so, what else can you give? Somebody said once upon a time, "Give until it hurts." I don't think I've ever done that. I mean, I have, but I took that back. Like it was $500 or $1,000 I was giving in church. That hurt. Oh, did that hurt. You think I didn't cancel that check? After I had, I had buyer's remorse immediately. I had giver's remorse. I'm like, God, did you really say give, give me to get that? You know I ain't got no money now that I didn't gave that away. You understand me? So I got it back. I voided that check. That was back in the day where you could void the check and stop the transaction. Oh, wait. I know that church was hot. I know they was mad at thee. Okay. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying give. What do you have to give away? There's a song. And I believe it's by William McDonald or William McDowell. And it goes, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away, oh Lord. I give myself away. I love that song. And that's the name of it. Give myself away. Three, one, give myself away. Three words. These three words. Those three words. Give myself away. What are you giving today? Man, I give until I'm spent. I like to give because it's what I do. It's what I thrive on. Like, I love getting on here. I feel like I'm giving myself away to y'all. And I am because <laughs> I'm happy for no reason. Because I got every reason to be mad. I got every reason to be sad. I got every re reason to grieve right now. I got every reason, but guess what? The good outweighs the bad. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. And blah, blah, blah. I'm going to stop right there because this is not a singing video, but that's what I do. You feel me? I might have inspired somebody just with that. So I'm, that's what I do. I get on here to brighten up somebody's day, to give somebody an aha moment, like a spark, like something to trigger them to do better, something to trigger them to say, hmm, what can I give away? What do I have to give away? Oh, my God. She is talking straight to me because my garage, oh, I need to clean. I've been meaning to clean that garage out. I've been meaning to clean that closet out. What do you have to give away, Shard Timers? It will make or break somebody's day. It will literally be right on time 
because that's what I'm here to do is inspire somebody to do what you've been meaning to do. So now that I'm reminding you of to do what you've been meaning to do, go and do it. Go do it. It ain't going to take but a few minutes. And if it takes all afternoon, guess what? It was meant for you to do that this afternoon whenever you're watching this. Thank you, Shard Timers, for tuning in today. Thank you for liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to this channel. If you're not already a subscriber, I appreciate it. We're growing, y'all. I remember it took me a long time just to get 100 subscribers. Now, wow, I feel like I got something to say because more and more people are subscribing and leaving beautiful comments um, about how they needed to hear exactly what I said on that certain, on whatever video, you know, a particular video. So thank you once again, Shard Timers. If you are a subscribe to this channel, that means you are a Shard Timer and you are doing time with Shard. And I'm Shar. Shar stands for Sharice, and time stands for talk, inspire, motivate, and empower, educate, edify you. Yes, you. Go ahead and leave a comment, like, and a share. I'll see you back here. Bye.